Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Hiya! Ugh. <gasps> I got it! I got it! Ow! Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap, we're in catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. The sallowest place on Earth? Oh boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole, or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. To find him, we're supposed to give the code phrase, Does the carpet match the drapes? And what'll he say? He'll say, Well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! Hubert still clinging to life by the skin of his leaf. The donut box is a happy reminder of a bygone era, specifically last July. Look, Max, Midtown Cowboys reruns. Better get the serious toothpaste. Turn it off! I hate the sound of my voice on tape. It doesn't sound like me. Jimmy Two Teeth, Fence. It's a sad day when hard-working rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers! What customers? Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the answering machine messages. And give Max a smack from me. Hi, Sam. This is yourself again. Don't forget to erase the answering machine messages before you listen to them. And give Max his own battle tank from me. Hi, Sam. This is yourself. Don't forget to listen to the end. Good old Mr. Spatula. The exact same Mr. Spatula we've always had. Certainly not just some other fish we've been calling Mr. Spatula ever since we found the original floating belly up in this very water cooler just last week. Careful, Sam. Keep it up and he might realize he's just a replacement fish. The Alien Love Rectangle Post. 
I had no idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. Myra Stump shocks a crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. Hmm, are those? Yep, they've resorted to filling the candy machine with antidepressants. How depressing. Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of Cordon Blue, who is this Bosco? Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No! But you may call me Jean-Francois Bandapart, the new way French anarchist. Does the carpet match the drapes? No, and you know why? Because the man does not want them to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools, there is no one. <laughs> Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu. I could do this all day. And I intend to. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take a number, guys. What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver something to my store. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Or well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepart. But your name's not Jean-Francois Sissy Pants. Shh. They don't know that. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizard couldn't sneak past you. And two, even if they do get past me, I got a failsafe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tans. I call it the Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tans. It is a b -tad Part D. How does b -tads Part D work? First is the anti-delivery camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I stock. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the streets. Vive la France! How does... B if it we want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Do you have any stray tufts of Sasquatch hair? No. Do you have any hats in the shape of a cow udder? No. Do you have any rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? No. Do you have any amulets of protection against greater hypnosis? No. Do you have any... No. How do you know what he was gonna... No. Do you? No. Do... No. Do you? No. Do you? No. Do you have any stray tufts of... No. What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A device non pareil chocolate! Is that good? Oui, oui. This I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What's it do? It listens. You can use it to hear secret conversations, no? No. I mean, yes. Okay, Senor Sissy Pants. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is... 10 million dollar. 10 million?! Wait, is that 10 million in crazy fake French dollars or 10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. The market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. 
Nothing for us right now. Zut! See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall beat him a reservoir. Are those the same two weenies that were in there a month ago? Are you the same two weenies that were in here a month ago? Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Sludgies. This week's flavors, avocado de menthe and fudge pâté de foie gras. Oh good, for a second I thought it was something disgusting. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great. We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, you know? The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, I'm perfect. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three in Asparagus Rampage. Ah, taxidermy. The dead aren't truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. 
boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy, live a little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. Thirteen hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the VIG, we can talk then about bad business sense. Okay, we'll come back then. I hear you have a mole problem? Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation you just had right in front of me. What? Sorry, I wasn't listening. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was Mafia Free. That's right, kiddies. 100% Mafia Free. No Mafia anywheres. Come on, True. We're looking for somebody who works here. Look, I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. You know what I mean? What kind of business? Yeah, the kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it, so's you know not to ask. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Note, please supply your own firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look, there's the prize! As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? Yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something.
where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen, but your idea is good too. Let's wallow in casino magic. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday, so you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Steak Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, uh, Boris Crinkle. That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. Then we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. Just bet one token and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy Dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Steak Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. That's enough for now. Okay, although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. Grrr. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. Wow, it sticks! Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right.
I'm betting all ten million, and you only gotta bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I... you... you cheated me! What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You... Pay up, steak charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> let's go, Max. Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats ten million times in a row without passing out. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your ten million. By the secret stench of St. Gainsbourg. These are not American dollar. No, but there are ten million of them. Hmm. Well, the prizes of Ted e. Bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisement. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question? Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy! You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut-eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket! Move, maggot! Sir, yes sir! Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bear's. You're on fire! Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction, we won! Yeah, we won, but there's no prize! You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Hold it, Mugs! Not Mugs, Max! I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. 
I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is swordfish. Nope. The password is rosebud. Nope. The password is password. Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? Nope. Who's on first? Nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the walrus? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. We'll be back. Like I care. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today? And you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes sir. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? Give me the password. Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look! That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain Sybil Pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gagger with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy, as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? 
The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. We'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. Is that what happened to me? Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? No, Max. I think they meant... murder. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now! Have you considered the possibility of staging your own death to throw the Toy Mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Big payoffs? Graft? Corruption? The truth. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Ouch! Really? She should consider Guilt Slinger as her next profession. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. You will not sneak past me. Oh, no. The price of paranoia is eternal vigilance. <gasps> what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. He's pretending to do the word jumble. He's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Yeah! Eat pavement, camera! Oh, the society pages. <laughs> Must be skull and bones. He's pretending to read the gardening section. So it's true. He is Toy Mafia. 
I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. Ah. Oh no. Oh no! He's coming in! We're done for! I surrender! I surrender! Uh, I told you this would happen! I told you he would deliver, and he delivered! I can't believe that guy! Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of Mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? Hey, wait a second. Why didn't B Taz part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh, no, no, no! I don't think I can bring myself to actually shoot her. Oh my goodness, thank you! I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me! Excellent. Nice and messy. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. Hey Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil wake up, which could be important to our continued good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, there's still the matter of the original meatball sandwich. Oh yeah! Show me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread I'll shoot you both. Now, let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the Toy Mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard. Even though they know you're a cheating jerk bag, I'm sure they'll believe you. Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? Just relax, Leonard. Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dog. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max.
You know, Leonard, little Jimmy Two Teeth there cannot be trusted. He still has our pepper grinder! Hey, I was gonna return it! Oh, so I should trust the two dopes who cheated me out of my fortune instead? Let's pretend it makes sense to say yes to that question. Look, I don't trust Jimmy any farther than I can throw him, but fortunately for me, I can throw him a country mile. Hey, what? You know what? We'll come back later. Sorry to intrude! Ciao! Don't you move. Then again... Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No! Sick him, little buddy! I thought you'd never sick! Oh. Oh. Mama. Okay, Leonard, are you gonna tell us where the sandwich is? Or are we gonna have to get rough, her? Stay rough! Stay rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Does your mother know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno-heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! No, not that. Anything but that. Leonard, Yo Mama's so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I think we'll have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow my lead. Yo mama's so fat. She has more folds than an origami accordion. Oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay, making grown men weep. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Yo mama's so perky. The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. Oh, mama, make it stop. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Yo mama's so radiant. If she fell in nuclear waste, no one would notice. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him one more time, Sam. Yo mama's so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard, we would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit, and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Thanks, jerkbag! How did we not notice that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker! Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Where we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to, t you know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Give me the password. 
Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. I need some clarification on our mob joining assignments. No problem. I think we've got it. Excellent. We'll be back. I'm sure you will. Presto, a non-armed bandit no longer. You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomaine, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is! I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. That's better. Man alive do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police! Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Teddy Bears. For all we know, the original Teddy Bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Holy modern technology gone horribly, horribly awry. You're dead. This is not good. Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, Do not enter under pain of death. Whee! 
He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting, but it probably doesn't mean anything. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. Hmm. Apparently Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? What do you think we should do? That back door looks rather inviting. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then! Or this hypno-bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings! Look! Look at the Hypno-Bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear says. Don't you feel... sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? It seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master? Shoot your friend! I command it! This blows. I can't really shoot him, can I? I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy Bear says. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend. I think it's not working. I better try it again. Whatever Teddy. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend. I think it's not working. Whatever. Yes, Master. Now shoot your friend. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxie? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very... Oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? Okay. Good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead.
Anybody got a screw loose? Oops, you're on fire. You're on fire. Shh. Okay, so if I put this Framel what's it in this Flingle flipper. You're on fire. Oh, isn't that cute? I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire. Help, help, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Help, I'm on fire. Somebody should collect this rubbish. Goes nothing. I'm on. Ah! Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look. Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life-threatening. Who says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget, which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me? That one, run! That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Legitimately. 